In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a moving platform in Godot. And here I have Godot open. I'm going to create on new to create a new project. Let's call this moving platform example. I'm going to create a folder and then just create an edit. And the first thing I'm going to do is just click to the 2D window here. I'm zoomed in at 25%. Let's change that to 100. We'll just move that across there. So hopefully you can see that clearly on this recording. And what I want to do is create a new 2D scene. So click on that. We'll double click and rename this as world. And the first thing I want to do is to add a child node. And this is going to be an animatable body 2D. Once I've added a node like this, I like to double click and just rename it. So I'm going to call this moving platform. And with moving platform selected, we're going to add a sprite 2D. So sprite 2D. And the second thing we're going to add on moving platform. So make sure moving platform is selected. Click to add a child node. And we're going to add a collision ship 2D. Now with the Sprite 2D selected, I could use the default Godot icon here, but I've gone ahead and I've actually created a little platform. So let me go across to my desktop. I'll just drag that platform into my resource area. Let's close that. So now all I need to do is just to drag that platform PNG into the texture area here in the inspector. And there's my platform. Just move down a little bit so we can see a bit clearer. Now with the collision shape selected, Go across the inspector, go to the shape here and add a new rectangle shape. Now you can see here, there's the collision shape here. I'm going to drag these handles, holding down my option key here and just resize that and just move that down a little bit there. With the moving platform selected, I'm just going to group these three together. So group the nodes, this little icon here to group the nodes. Now I can move that down into the play area. I'm going to go into the world scene again. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add another one of these platforms, but this time as a static body. So I'll click on to add a static body 2D. And we'll double click on that. And we're going to call this the floor. I'm going to add a child node to that, which will be a sprite 2D. And with the floor selected, add a child node, which will be a collision ship 2D. With the Sprite 2D selected, I'm going to drag this platform icon onto my texture. And then with the collision shape selected in my inspector, go across the shape and select rectangle shape here. I'm going to drag that out to here and then just pop that down a little bit. And with the floor selected, I'm going to group that. I'm going to move that into the play area as well. Now we could have done that a lot quicker just by clicking on the moving platform, right click, and we could duplicate it. And then with the moving platform, the second one selected, we have to right click and we'd have to change the type. What I like to do with my students in class is just get them used to actually creating nodes and sprites and collision shapes. So I'm just going to delete that one. Okay, so this is my moving platform here. This is my floor. This is a static one here. So next thing I'm going to add is a player. So click on to add another node here, and this is going to be a character body 2D. With my character body 2D selected, double click and rename this as player. Good habit to get into is to rename your nodes. With the player selected, click on to add a sprite 2D. And with the player selected again, Click on to add a child node, which is collision ship 2D. The sprite with that selected, I'm just going to use the default Godot icon. So click and drag and drop that into the texture area. And with the collision shape, I can go to my inspector and we're going to select a new rectangle shape here. And again, just resize this to fit the player. With the player selected, I'm going to group these three together and then move that into the play area just above this static floor here. Okay, so the last thing to do is to actually animate this animated platform, this moving platform. To do that, I'm going to select on world, click to add a child node. 
I'm going to add an animation player. With the animation player selected, we can see the animation panel down here. If I click on animation, I can then select new. What do I want to call this animation? I'll call it just move, seems simple enough. And then I want to add a track. So click on to add a track and we want to add a property track. We're going to attach this to the moving platform. Click OK. If we just scroll down a bit here, we should see position. So we're going to change the position during this animation. Click on Open. With the moving platform selected then, and with the playhead here at zero at the start, what I want to do is to go over to Transform and I want to click on this little key here next to Position. So I'm going to lock in a keyframe for that position at zero. This only lasts one second. I'm going to extend this animation to two seconds. And to do that over here where we see one, I'm going to change that to two seconds. I'm going to move the playhead all the way to two seconds. And I'm going to grab my moving platform and I want to move this just over to the right. So let's move it to the right. I'm going to hold down the shift key as I move it just to constrain it in the horizontal axis here. So move that across to the right. And at two seconds here, I'm going to click again on this little key to lock that in. So if we move the playhead, we can see that the platform is moving here. And actually what I might do, I might just move this a little bit closer to this static platform here. Let's just uh, drag this across to there. We'll just re-key that frame there. And again, we can just check that is working. There we go. The last thing I want to do is I want this to automatically loop through. Now the loop icon is this one here. If I was to click on that and play, you can see what happens. It gets to the end and it jumps to the start again. I don't want that. So we just pause that. So if we click on this loop icon for a second time, we get this, which is the forward and automatic reverse. If I play that, we can see it's automatically replaying and rewinding again. Okay, let's stop that. Okay, last thing I want to do here is to add a script. So when I play the game, the animation will automatically start. So with my world selected, I'm going to add a script and we'll just accept all the defaults. We can get rid of function process here. We don't need that. But in the ready script, get rid of pass. What I want to do, I want to grab a reference to this animation player. So click and drag the animation player, holding down my option key and dragging it into this function here. And animation player dot play, and I want to play the move animation. So now I'm ready for saving this. So command or control S, save it as world. Yes, save. And I can click on play and select current and there is the animation. Now what I forgot to do here, I forgot to add a script to my player. So let's just close this and go to my player. We'll add a script. Again, accept all the defaults and create. We don't need to change anything in here. Let's go ahead and play. And there's my player. I can move left and right and I can jump onto the platform and we can jump back. If you found that video useful, you know what to do. Just give a quick thumbs up and subscribe for any future tutorials. And if you head across to coding.academy, you will find plenty of free resources and online coding courses.